So when you use ChatGPT4 and you requested more than 25 questions, more than 25 messages from him in a period of, I think, two hours, it will switch you from GPT-4 to GPT-3.5. Now, that's not a big issue. You could just wait another two hours and then start again. But what happens if you already have a long conversation history with GPT in the same thread? So let's say you added in a script and you added different messages and you kind of train GPT-4 to communicate well with you. And then suddenly, because uh, of those 25 message limit ex is exceeded, you're set back to GPT 3.5. And how can you switch back? It's really strange because there's no manual way of switching back once you started the message. So you could always, let's say, start a new chat, but then you would lose the entire conversation. So. If you're watching this video, you probably tried doing this manually and it didn't work. So let me show you how I was able to fix this. And let me show you here's the conversation. So for example, I was working on a, on a, on a, on a script. As you can see here, we are still working in ChatGPT4 and then it switched back to ChatGPT3.5. I asked it to switch back manually to GPT-4, it didn't work, and I tried, I tried, I tried, and now I was able to switch it back to GPT-4. So how did I do it? Let me show you. Now, there's the credit belongs not to me, but to this guy from Reddit, Kinky Cusco. So here's, here are the steps, and if you're new to debugging or coding don't worry i have no about idea about codes but here's the process so first of all you need to download firefox so download firefox install it log into chat gpt open up the conversation where you had uh, the issue after you waited at least a couple of hours so your quota is again available you go, let's say this is the, that conversation. So here's what you got to do. Right click, click on inspect, then write in a message, any message, just test. Okay, and oh, wait, 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 you have to click on network. And now there's a conversation appearing here. Okay, you see that conversation? Now, here you gotta click you gotta right click and then click on use as fetch in console now then this entire text will appear for you uh, i'm trying to push these things around a little bit and when you scroll down now where is it uh, you have something called a model here and it says text da Vinci da 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 2.0 render sha whatever this is and this is the old or the 3.5 version of chat gpt it doesn't matter what you got to do is change this out and copy the same thing that i'm showing you right here uh, gpt4 okay gpt/4 now pay very close attention to what i'm doing here because i'm re i'm deleting this but i'm not deleting that backslash that backslash oops so for some reason okay let's do this manually g p t slash four and notice i'm keeping that backslash if you delete that it's not gonna work Okay, good. So now we got this. And now there's this button here that says run here in the middle to the, to the left side. Middle of the screen to the left side. Now click that, click on the run button. And as you can see, some action is happening. Something happened. Something happened. And that's a good thing. And uh, 
the wise guys from <laughs> the guys who are really wise here say that we should wait a minute i'm gonna wait a little bit but uh not so much <laughs> i'm gonna close this now close the thing down and refresh and let's see what happens there you have it we are back in chat gpt4 let's ask it something as you see we have the new icon so let's say are you ready to answer gpt4 questions let's ask it and as you can see uh, the gpt4 version is typing back at us at its slow and steady pace and yeah that's it so i hope this helps <laughs> and uh, again the credit belongs not to me but to kinky Cusco from reddit and uh, yeah if you're looking to see more ai stuff follow along and check the description of this video bye